chess is a very competitive sport and this game was very competitive throughout it was a seesaw battle which ended up in my favor yes but the way it went is something really very nice to see i hope it is very instructive to you as well as interesting and you enjoy it thoroughly so do watch it till the end hey chess lovers welcome back to the chess yard this is dhere bagga and let me take you through this game i started off with d4 my opponent goes with knight to f6 here comes a bishop to f4 trying to play a london system kind of setup where you will take out your bishop early and then play pawn forward e3 so that your bishop is out of the pawn chain you play c3 you develop the knight on f3 and d2 respectively you put a light square bishop on to d3 and queen on c2 eyeing towards the diagonal that's a typical london system system setup that you can generally go for it's a very good opening for white very solid uh, and yet very adaptive because your pieces are developed so naturally that you can go forward to for an attack as well here my opponent plays g6 i went with c3 first opponent goes for bishop to g7 i play e3 uh, and opponent now plays at d6 uh, maybe trying to pull out the light square bishop as well before castling i went with bishop to e2 uh trying to make some variation in the game and now my idea is changed because opponent is willing to cast on the king side looks like a very good setup there so i'm looking forward to playing h4 and h5 for the attack straight away opponent goes for knight to c6 i went with h4 and here opponent plays knight to h5 attacking the the bishop but what happens is i take the knight and opponent takes back with the pawn which gets taken by the queen as well So now I am a pawn up, uh, and it's eighth move only. And being pawn up is a serious advantage as well. Many a times, you can simply take forward the games from there and win it easy. Open plays e5, and here I take on the pawn. Open takes back with the pawn, and now I play bishop to g5, attacking the queen. My idea was that open cannot play pawn forward, and I expected open to play bishop and trade off the dark square bishops. but things don't go as per plan always here comes queen to d3 and now the problem is the open queen can go to c2 hit the pawn as well and then grab the rook maybe uh there is a possibility of uh, i don't know how should i be defending the situation getting the knight out looks one put, uh, uh, proper way but then i am preparing to castle meanwhile b2 is hanging uh, the open knight is also developed so it can get tricky so i thought let me trade off the queens so i got in the queen on e2 opponent does take i take back and now i realize oh no my bishop it's not going anywhere and opponent plays at 6 bishop is trapped cannot go anywhere if i take now opponent takes back bishop will still be on a good diagonal if i let the opponent take and i take i lose the rook as well so this is some trouble initially in the game despite i was pawn up so i thought okay let me get back my bishop on to f4 so that after open does take i take back with the knight and at least i have some momentum with the knight and i have uh, grabbed extra pawn as well for the exchange so that means now opponent has is plus 1 as per the valuation of the bishop is 3 and i have lost two i have gained two pawns from the opponent as well so overall opponent is plus 1 So here comes bishop to f5, developing the bishop, attacking the knight. So I moved my knight to d2, preparing to now castle on the queen side as well. Opponent also castles, and so do I. Now a rook comes to e8, centralizing both the rooks. Nice strategy by the opponent. I went with knight to c4, asking to exchange the rooks, which opponent does take. I take back, and now the other rook also comes in front. So I thought, okay, let me take it. The only chance I have throughout the game is. because i have got two extra pawns for a piece so if i can somehow create some pressure and trade off the pieces and make sure that my two pawns are good enough for one of the bishops or a knight then is there a slight chance in the game which i can convert to so for that i would require my knight to do and create some folks out of nowhere but creating folks with the bishop pair around is very difficult So I thought, okay, let me just start with my king to d2. Open gets knight to e5, and I had to exchange no other option. My knight isn't going to a very good place, so let's trade off. Open takes back with the bishop, 
And here I thought, okay, what should I do about my night now? Uh, if I keep it anywhere, it, there are chances that my knight can get, get be trapped because of the bishop pair. So rather I should take one of the bishops. Now one idea can be just to leave my knight there itself and play some pawn move. Let opponent take and I take back. But then I spoil my pawn structure as well. So I have to be careful. So I rather put my knight onto d3, asking opponent to take. And once opponent does take, I take back. Now, only thing I have to do is push my pawns on the king side because these are these four against two is my counterplay. There's nothing else I can do in this game. The three pawns on the queen side are equally matched. My king is more active. Can I somehow walk down the lane and push, put pressure on the opponent? That's what I started to do. Here comes open plays king to d7. I go with king e4. Bishop goes back, allows me to play h5 first, I have to save the pawn and I want to keep my pawns on light square so that the bishop becomes ineffective at all. Here comes open place b5 and I went with king to f5 attacking the bishop and now open saves with the king by placing e7 and now I place uh, e4. My idea is to push the pawn forward th that way I'll cut off this diagonal to, of the bishop as well and bishop will become inactive because my these two pawns are on dark squares which if at all I have to trade the pawn, my B pawn will be gone and then suddenly the opponent will have majority on the uh, on the queen side. So here I uh, went with E4 first, opponent plays bishop to H4, attacking my pawn but allows me, help. it's helpful for me. I can push pawns, G3, opponent goes back with to F6, no other option. And now I play E5, cutting off the bishop's diagonal. Opponent goes back with the bishop and now I play F4, Open goes back again, which allows me to play b3 now. Because I want to keep my pawns on light squares, now I can push for a c4. And if opponent takes, I'm happy taking because then again, it's a two on two pawns after trades are happening. Opponent goes back with the bishop to g7, understanding the threat. So I first went with g4, now trying to trade off some pawns from here and then maybe create this pass pawn and convert to queen. Open place f6, which allows me to take, and opponent takes back with the bishop. And now I place c4 first, making sure the bishop is not hampering my pawn structure at all. Open place pawn forward, b4, anything is fine with me because it's a three on three, and the king is not going anywhere because I'm close to the pawn, and that's what starts to happen now. King comes to g6, the pawn cannot be defended, the bishop is kind of useless now, and then I have three pawns. On the, on, the, on, the, on the king side and I'll be converting one of them definitely even if I have to give one for the bishop I'm happy because I have a pawn majority and if you see the analysis board as well here uh, which I didn't open yet I am plus 3.4 uh, in the game uh, at this position because there's nothing much what the open can do once I grab the pawn it's easy to push these pawns and convert one of them into queen and that's winning so a very instructive end game, I would say. I was pawned down, uh, instructing game throughout actually, because initially I was uh, completely in control. Uh, when I was ahead as well, I took the extra pawn, but then the game changed pretty quickly when I lost my bishop uh, for free, event, uh, sort of, uh, just getting one pawn. Here my opponent was 4.8 ahead. And then eventually I just traded off everything and then from uh, what looked like an impossible kind of a victory, uh, I pulled it off with the opponent actually was 1.9 ahead when everything was traded. And then I had to play the proper end game, attacking with the king, pushing my pawns. And then eventually it ended up with a good uh, victory for me. I, I open designed after, of course, I landed my king on to g6. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Lots of people view the videos but don't subscribe. Subscribing doesn't take much of time, but that won't take much of your effort and no money for sure. So please do it. And yeah, I shall see you tomorrow because I put up videos every single day, no matter what happens. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.